What's up guys? This is Joy Neville and I'm back with another video. Happy New Year to everybody. It's a new year and a new start. Hopefully you're on your journey. If you're my peoples, you're still continuing your journey or picking up where we left off with our journeys if we fell off. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Joy Neville. I've lost 141 pounds so far. February 14th this year will be four years. I've kept it off and I'm continuing to better myself for myself. It's being a better you, the best you you could possibly be health wise and mentally healthy. Sorry about my voice you guys. I don't know what's going on. I just don't have a voice. So forgive me for that. I sound raspy. But I feel good and it's a new year and a new start and we are meal prepping because it's meal prep day guys. So again, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I'm Joy and I'm just sharing my journey and I try to eat healthy. I try to show you guys what I do to eat healthy, my meal prep, my what I eat in a days. I like to work out. I also do try on hauls, which I know is random, but I like to do them. So I like clothes and I like fashion. So if you like all that and you're just about a positive channel to watch when you get bored, hit the subscribe button. If you're someone that wants to try to get healthier and better you, it's not about being skinny or fat. It's about being healthy with a healthy mind and a healthy body. If you like that, hit the subs subscribe button below and join us. When we get to 300 subscribers, every 300 I do drawings. This is not sponsored by YouTube. These are drawings I do on my own. They are no way affiliated with YouTube or anything else. I just buy gift cards and I mail them to people. We do drawings right out of the bowl. So if you guys leave comments, that's how I get your drawing names. Anything anybody leaves in the comment, I start to get to know you. I write down your name. I put it in a bowl. We are almost at 300. I think we have two or three subscribers left. Just a couple left. And I'm going to do it right on video. I'm going to pull names and two people will get gift cards that I'm going to mail to you. So it'll probably be tomorrow or the next day because we're moving pretty fast. So like this video, share this video, guys. If you know anybody that wants to get healthy or that needs just a positive channel to watch, please share my videos. I appreciate it. I'm new to the YouTube and I'm just trying to, you know, get get the word out there that you can be healthy and you can better yourself and it's not hard it's possible I did it I lost 141 pounds just by eating better and changing certain things about my lifestyle so if I can do it you can do it alright that being said let's get into the video so I plan on making some taco meat today for my guys for tacos I have a husband and some sons they want tacos so I'm going to do extra lean ground beef and then I'm going to separate some for myself for taco salads. That's going to be some of our meal prep. I'm also craving um, chicken burgers. So I'm going to make some ground chicken patties. That way I can wrap them in lettuce or wrap them in a low carb wrap with lettuce, tomato, mayo, mustard, onion and make a nice big chicken burger. So that's another meal prep I'm doing today if you're interested. These are all high protein lower to moderate carbs if you're interested and you can always modify it to whatever journey you are choosing to do for your lifestyle. Um, I'm also going to be prepping fruits, veggies, some snacks so stay tuned for that. See you back in a flash. Okay guys this is another one of my little meal prep. The guys wanted taco salad or taco um, tacos for dinner, ground beef tacos. So I started frying up some extra lean ground beef. You can see there's no fat in this pan at all. That little bit you see is the half a cup of water I added with the taco seasoning. There's no fat, this is dry. This is lean, lean ground beef. And that's what you want to lose when you're trying to lose weight and eat healthier, less fat, right? If you're keto, then of course you want more fat. So I'm cooking their taco meat and I decided to do a double batch. That way I could separate some in a container for me. I don't use a lot of ground beef anymore. I don't eat a lot of red meat anymore, but I do occasionally. I don't X out anything for good. So this is going to be a couple meals for me this week. And I'm going to put it in wraps or on salad for taco salads. So taco wraps and taco salads. Because who does not love tacos, right? 
So you can do taco wraps. There's tons of low carb wraps. If you want to leave out the wrap completely and be very, very low carb or keto, you can just do it on salad, whatever your choice is. Or if you just want to do lettuce wraps, these are really good on lettuce taco wraps too, which I've done many a times. I just use this little, it's called a pie crust cutter or a dough cutter. Those of you that watch me know I use this to grind up my meat. It's a pretty handy little device. Anyways, I did two packets of low sodium, taco seasoning, a half a cup of water, browned up my meat, added a little bit of minced onion and garlic in here, and that's it. We are good to go. So I'm going to container a little bit of this up, probably a quarter of it, for a couple meals this week um, and weigh it out and this will be a couple of meals this week. You can put it taco salads, taco wraps, taco lettuce wraps, whatever you want. So this is one of my meals. Be back in a minute. Here are some of the toppings you can put on your taco lettuce wraps, taco salads, or taco low carb wraps, whatever it is you like to do. You got your lean taco meat over here. You got some shredded lettuce. You've got diced up tomatoes. You've got black olives. These are a healthy fat. You can put, um, if you want to add fiber and a little bit of carbs, you can put black beans in here. Avocado is good in here. Lime juice. Cilantro. For my guys, of course, I'm going to add some sour cream and some taco sauce. I like the Taco Bell taco sauce. But I'm going to make a salad out of this or a wrap. I think a salad tonight for dinner. So I'll show you that and show you what it looks like in a little bit. Hey guys, so I fed them and I am weighing out my hamburger meat. I figured I'll do three meals. So I have two meals so far and then I thought I would turn on the camera and just show you guys. So I did four ounces and four ounces. So, so far I have eight ounces. I'm gonna do one more. So zero it out again. I'm doing ounces. And we're gonna do one more. Four ounces. I typically do three to four ounces of meat when I eat meat or protein. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that's how I do my meals. So now I know that there are three meals of meat in here. So 12 ounces total. 4, 8, 12. So you could do it two ways. You could just divide it into three parts and eyeball it, which is fine. Or if you want to be more precise, you can just zero out a plate on your scale and then weigh out four ounces each time you make a taco salad or a wrap. So that's it for the taco meat. So that's my one of my meal preps. And I'll see you back for the next. Okay guys, I had to move you. So we are in the cooking part of my kitchen. This is ground chicken. It's just one pound pack of ground lean chicken breast. Or ground chicken. I love ground chicken, you guys. I'm not a big ground turkey fan. I feel like I don't like the flavor that much. Um, but you can use anything, ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, it's your choice. But when I started this journey, I was all about ground beef. And then I tried ground chicken one day and I haven't gone back. I love it. I just love the flavor of it. And it's lower calorie too. There's a pro tip for you. Okay, so I got my ground chicken on this little paper plate. I'm going to add some seasoning. So I'm going to do this alpine touch i ordered it from montana it's garlic onion it doesn't give you all the secrets but i know it's like a garlic and onion and pepper base so i'm just going to do a sprinkle of that on there if you've been here you guys know i like toasted minced onion i also use this as my everything bagel seasoning i'm going to use a lot of that on there I'm going to go in with some regular onion powder. Flavor your food, guys, with whatever it is that you like. Black pepper. Because if you don't flavor your food, 
you are not going to continue on this journey very long because everything's going to taste boring and bland. You do not always have to do salads too. The only time I do salads is if I do fancy salads because I'm craving one. You don't have to. So now I'm just going to mix this together. But flavor your foods. Like taco salads, those are bomb. You know, chef salads, those are bomb. The only thing I would suggest, and this is just an opinion, I'm not a doctor, a weight loss consultant or anything, I've just done this for four years. And I would suggest trying a low calorie dressing and try one that tastes good, like Boat House is a refrigerated dressing. You can find it in any produce area, in the refrigerated area. Boat House Farms dressings. They make tons of low calorie dressings. Ranch dressing, blue cheese dressing. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones I've seen. Caesar dressing. There's tons, so just give them a try. So all I'm going to do, guys, is form some patties, put them in a pan with some nonstick spray, and start cooking, up, cooking them into burgers, just like you would any hamburger. You guys know how to do this. So I don't weigh these until I'm done. Before I eat, I weigh them out so I know how much I'm eating. So let me spray this, and then I'm going to plop this in, and I'll be back. Okay guys, we got our patties cooking over here. They're almost done. I like them to get like a little brown crust on them, a golden brown crust. That's just my preference. You cook your patties, burgers, or whatever, however you want to. There's no right or wrong way. Now we're gonna go right over here to my air fryer. Plug it in. There we go. Okay, make sure it's working. I've got these on sale. They're steam fresh Brussels sprouts, bird's eye. They are 45 calories for a three quarters cup of these. That's awesome. Brussels sprouts. I've done this for a couple years now. You take your Brussels sprouts. You can do them frozen or fresh. It's up to you. I'm about quick and easy, and these are already steamed, so I just have to air fry them. You dump them in your air fryer. These are going to be for the next few days, three or four days of meals. And I'm going to have these with my chicken burgers or my taco meat, depending. So I'm going to dump them in like that. And then I'm going to season them up. And I'm just going to use that Alpine Touch seasoning. And just shake it all over lightly or heavily, whatever you want. And some black pepper. And then you don't need any oil to toss that seasoning around a little. Lock and load it. We are going to do power. I do everything on 400 usually. And I'm going to set it for 15 minutes and walk away. They're going to be delicious. They get a little bit crispy and like dark, like broiled on the outside. Almost if you were to put them in the oven and um, roast them. That's how the air fryer does them. They're so good. And so that's going to be my side dish for lunch or dinner. Probably dinner with my chicken burgers. So that's one dinner down. These are done. See? That's how I like them. Make sure they're all like that. Want those cook on that side? Take them off, and I'll see you back for the next. Okay, guys, I'm back. Calm down, my son is <laughs> in the background. Um, he had a hard day at work apparently. So, 
I have these um, frozen chicken meatballs. They're just chicken meatballs fully cooked Richland. So any kind of meatball will work. You can make your own. You can get beef, chicken, turkey, whatever you want. I want to do kind of a knockoff on sweet and sour meatballs with less calories and a little bit less carbs. So right here, this is going to be like a lunch or a dinner option again. I have a, a cup of water and then I put a tablespoon of sesame oil just because I like it. You don't have to. Apple cider vinegar. A quarter of a cup. That's your sour. And you can adjust things to your taste, you know, after you get it going. Okay, soy sauce. I did another quarter of a cup of soy sauce to the cup of water, quarter cup um, apple cider vinegar, quarter cup soy sauce, garlic. I'm just going to do a heaping tablespoon of garlic. That's up to you. Again, this is just a knockoff of a similar type of sweet and sour. Ginger, I have ginger paste in the tube. I just like it. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of it just to give it a little bit of flavor. Optional chili paste or sriracha for a little heat. Because you guys know I like heat, I'm just going to give it a zigzag across. So probably a tablespoon or less. And then I'm going to do four tablespoons of ketchup or you could do tomato paste. I know this has some carbs and it's 20 calories a tablespoon, but this is for the whole dinner, for the whole week. So it's going to be like a quarter teaspoon or, or I mean a teaspoon or so, maybe two teaspoons of ketchup that you're getting. It's not a lot. I'm going to measure this though. Again, this is just something I like. So. I've done it before and I like it. It's been about a year since I've done it though. Two, three, four. This is optional. You actually do not need this. You can use tomato paste or you can leave it both out. You don't need it. You can still have a really good sauce without the ketchup or the tomato paste but you're gonna need a thickener. Xanthan gum is for someone that's low carb or keto. I just use cornstarch, it has seven carbs for a tablespoon. Again, a tablespoon for this whole pan is nothing. So it's not that big of a deal for me. And the cornstarch mixed with a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch will thicken it right up. Now, the only thing last that you're gonna add I wanted to add a quarter cup of pineapple. I do not have any. I looked. So sad. You can add some orange juice, some orange zest. I'm going to add sweet drops. You can add stevia, you can add swerve, whatever sweetener you have. Just add it to your taste. A few tablespoons of stevia would work. I'm going to go in with probably two vials to start of sweet drops. This is just a stevia leaf all natural sweetener. No calories or anything. Again, you can use swerve, you can use whatever sweetener you have. Uh, monk fruit, it doesn't matter. Obviously for sweet and sour, sour is the vinegar, you need your sweet. The ketchup does it a little bit, but you need a little bit. A little bit more. So once this comes to a boil, like that, it's bubbling. I'm going to add my mix of cornstarch and water. I'm going to start with just a few teaspoons because I might not need it all. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm good. Now it's thickening so quick. And then I'm going to put my meatballs in here and cook my meatballs in the sauce. So I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, now I got the meatballs in. I'm going to do squeeze some lemon. You don't have to do this. I just had it and I thought it would be nice to add some citrus for sweet and sour. And give it nice flavor. That sauce is good. I tasted it. So you didn't need a lot of sugar to make sweet and sour. Okay. Now I'm just going to toss these around. That cornstarch is going to help this thicken up as these meatballs warm through. If you're using raw meatballs, brown them or bake them first. If yours are homemade. If they're already frozen pre-cooked, just throw them in the sauce and let them cook for 10-15 minutes on a medium heat. And that's it. I wanted to add pineapple, bell pepper, and onion in here. I am going to go chop up an onion and some bell pepper and throw it in here with the sauce in a couple minutes. And I'll bring it back when it's done. Brussels sprouts are still cooking. Let's bring it back when those are done. Hey guys, I wanted to show you. These are the Brussels sprouts after 15 minutes on 400. And I'm going to toss them back in for another 5 or 10 minutes. There's a couple that are getting there. This is how I like them. Like that. It's just the outer layer. It's not everything. But it reminds me of when you um, roast them in the oven and get that dark, like, burnt outside. They're really good and flavorful. They're getting there. But I'm going to put them back in for, like, ten more minutes or so. Meatballs are cooking. I'm over there meal prepping on the island, and so I'm going to show you what I've done when I come back. All right, guys, we are done. Meal prep is done. Let me show you what we got. We have carrots for the week. Cut rinsed in a little bit of cold water they stay fresher that way and then seal it with a lid underneath that way when you're hungry you can just grab something guys it's easy I chopped up red green and yellow bell peppers I like to dip these in whipped cream cheese or boathouse ranch it's a great snack barely any calories it's good for you eat the rainbow this is what I mean when I say eat the rainbow I have some berries Get your sweet tooth. It's low in calories, low in carbs. Berries are always good. I also have frozen blueberries that I mix with yogurt and stuff for snacks. So berries is good. Cut and clean, ready to eat. And then the prepped, cooked stuff. I got my Brussels sprouts. This is what I mean. I like to get them dark and crispy on the outside and then tender on the inside. If you don't like them like that, just cook them less time. Then I have my chicken patties. And then I have my taco meat. And then there's the meatballs. Yummy meatballs. I got one cut ready to taste for you guys. I put green, red, and yellow bell pepper, onion, and garlic in with the sauce. And I cooked them on medium heat for 20 minutes. Obviously, I didn't bring you guys around for that because my videos are long enough as it is. We all know that. <laughs> So that's my meal prep for the week. We are going to go in for a taste test. I'm dying to try these. It looks so yummy. Yum. You guys. This tastes like sweet and sour sauce. It's not going to be exactly like the sticky, sticky texture that sweet and sour sauce has, but it's coating, it's coating your meat. It's good. And yeah, I used a little ketchup. Yes, I used a little cornstarch. But for the whole thing for the week, you can't go wrong. 
I'm just gonna eat these like is for lunch or dinner. But if I decide to want like rice under them, I have cauliflower rice in the freezer. Just pop it in the microwave for a couple minutes and bam, cauliflower rice under sweet and sour meatballs with sweet and sour sauce. That's a bomb dinner. Let me bring you in for a little close up of these. Like, look at that. It's dripping with sauce. It coated it so nicely. Hot. Sorry if you don't like me licking my fingers. <laughs> All right. So this is my meal prep. I got it all here. Obviously, you guys know I eat my chocolate rice cakes with my sugar-free jam and whipped cream for snacks. If you're new to this channel, try it out. Chocolate rice cakes with sugar-free jam and a little fat-free whip is a great dessert to eat as a snack or a dessert. Um, yogurt, I eat Dan and Light and Fit yogurt, Oikos yogurt, anything lower in sugars, carbs. Add some frozen berries or blueberries, mix it up, add a little fat-free whipped cream and you got a yogurt parfait. You can even crumble up a little bit, pinch of cereal or granola on top. That's another go-to of mine for desserts. I don't have that in my meal prep because those are just everyday things I eat. Um, that's about it. And then Yasso bars, low-carb fudge sickles, those are things I have also as snacks. But yeah, this is my main meal prep. I'm gonna have lunch. I can either have taco salads or taco wraps. I can have chicken burgers with Brussels sprouts. I can have sweet and sour meatballs with bell peppers and onions over cauliflower rice or with Brussels sprouts. I have strawberries as a little snack or to take with my lunch. I've got bell peppers to dip in Boathouse Ranch or whipped cream cheese, and I've got carrots to dip too. So I have a good variety of stuff in my fridge. It's not everything I eat for the week, but it's 90% and it's in my fridge it's ready to go when I go to work I pack it at night and put it in my little meal prep container like a TV tray with the different compartments you can get them at Walmart the dollar store and that's what I take to lunch and then when I come home at dinner time I just pick what I want to eat pop it in the microwave and get to sit down and enjoy my dinner no fuss no muss and I never have to think about what I'm eating or get tempted to get fast food or order pizza or anything like that because my food is already ready for me. So if you like that, hit that like button right there, right below that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stick around because it's going to be a good year for you and me. Love you guys. Stay tuned till the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.